then. Yep. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, good morning from uh, Portland, Oregon, very rainy Portland, Oregon over the last couple of days. Um, we were kind of getting started, so we decided we better start that recording. Um, so I am here today, of course, with Colleen. You want to say hi, Colleen? Oh, hi. <laughs> and we're here also with Danny. Hello, everybody. And today we are actually doing our annual gratitude ceremony. So we do this uh, every um, November uh, so that if you want, we're going to go through all of the different things around it. But if you want, you can also use it at your family holidays um, and adapt it or also use it in uh, your Reiki practice in all different ways. And again, we'll show you all of the resources that you need uh, for that um, and how you can adapt it, how you can use it. Uh, in your practice. Um, so our recording, our share is going to be a little different today than normal and also a little bit longer than normal. Um, but if you um, are you know, not able to watch the whole thing in one time or stay for this whole time, then just know we will be posting this to YouTube um, this Thursday and to the podcast, but if you want to watch it, it'll be on YouTube, uh, this Thursday, which is November 9th. And again, if you want to just listen to it, you, let's say you listen to it on the podcast platforms, um, then you're welcome to just listen to it as well. And that is equally effective, but we will be showing a lot today. So if this, if you normally listen on the podcast, this might be one that you want to go and, uh, watch on YouTube. So Colleen was kind of getting started. Um, I did want to go ahead and get the recording started. And Colleen, do you want to go ahead and finish what you were saying? Well, I was just talking about the energy of gratitude and, um, you know, we'll be obviously sharing it with this whole ceremony, but really understanding that it is one of the life force energies of Reiki. It is a, a creation source energy and we can receive it and also we can be in gratitude and we can have a duality of feelings so sometimes we can know inside that we hold the beingness of gratitude the inner gratitude and have a feeling of grief or challenge or any other emotion so one of the things that I have learned about gratitude over the years is that we can actually receive it. It's an energy that Reiki uh, um, empowers and strengthens within us because it is a life force energy and it is part of our makeup. And if you think about it, you think about how often, even if something's challenging, you can take it to the next level of, well, I'm grateful for this. And it does make a difference. It does make a difference in life management. And it's so helpful that not only can we intend to be grateful, we also have an energy that empowers it within us. And again, that understanding and perspective of we can be in pure gratitude and the feeling of gratitude and that place of blessings. And we can also be in gratitude and be in a place of different feelings like grief or challenge or overwhelm or all the different things we can feel. And so it's, it's interesting to me to have worked with the energy of gratitude for so many years to understand the nature of it and what, how it actually helps me in my daily life. And so um, I'll just share a little bit of a background about the gratitude ceremony and where it came from. This was from years ago, and um, I had gone into this place of, of uh, working on my judgment. 
So I decided my spiritual journey and my spiritual work was going to be working on judgments. And then that transitioned, and I'm talking over the course of, of you know, year, maybe two years of really using the Reiki energy in my shamanic work to understand and heal judgment within me. So that took me to opinions. And so then suddenly I was in a spiritual course of healing opinions, understanding opinions. And it was so overwhelming because opinions are everywhere constantly and within me. Like I noticed I would wake up with opinions. And so suddenly I was just like overwhelmed with it. And I was in a, another Reiki journey and I'm asking like, what do I do about this? How, how do I heal this? Because it was like, I had opinions, opinions were coming at me. I could see and feel judgment everywhere. And so in this journey, working with my spirit guides, they came in and they, they said, well, that's because that's what you're asking about. And if you really want to help yourself with your opinions, what heals that is gratitude. Because when you're in a state of gratitude, your perspectives change. And they showed me that one of the easiest ways to gratitude was to notice beauty. So in this journey, they literally downloaded this ceremony. Most of the time, I will tell you the developments that I do and that we do now, Robin and I together, and Danny and Sarah I see is here too, and Sue and Shelby as a team. A lot of times these things, you know, you ask over the course of time, well, I get the gratitude, now what? And how do I get there? And how do I use Reiki to get there? But this time it downloaded in its full ceremony and showed me that we could gather together and we could empower gratitude and receive it as a group and really strengthen the energy of it and that that would empower us and it would also empower us as a group and then that ripple effect, that ability for the energy to go out into the family community and the energy now exists on a more powerful level because we've also intended it because it is actually an energy it's not just a way of thinking or a way of feeling it's actually an existing life force energy that reiki energy is delivers it it delivers the energy that's how you know, Reiki is life force. And so it's, it's going to deliver it with us. And so um, every year since then, I have been sharing this gratitude ceremony at the um, international Reiki retreats, both in New York, and now in Sedona. And Robin and I have been sharing this together now for I don't know how many years, and for sure at the distance Reiki shares, this will be our third year of sharing it here in this group. So our purpose today, and Robin's going to go over some of the how-to, so that if you want to have your own gratitude ceremony, we can give you ideas. It is completely adaptable. And you can do it for one person. You can do it for a lot of people. You can change the languaging of the prayers to adapt to the, the people. And we have the written instructions on our website, ReikiLifestyle.com. So you can go back and look at it. The centerpieces that we show you, those were, those were shown to me in that download. The prayers that we use here were shown to me in the download. And so we've been doing it this way for really for years. 
So that's what we're going to do today. And we want to share it with you so you can utilize it in your life and however that looks. And um, then also, just as a heads up, we do a burning bowl ceremony uh, January 9th which is another one. And same thing, we'll share about how to do that when we get that far. But anyway, this is the gratitude ceremony. And I'm going to um, turn it over to Robin now. And she's going to talk about the ceremony itself. Yes, thank you. Um, so I think what I'd like to do first is the ceremony. So how this is going to go is we're going to talk a little bit about um, the how to's, all of that, and then we'll go fully into the ceremony piece of that. Once that part starts, we don't come out and talk about the how to. So we like to do all of that kind of beforehand. Um, and then we will um, uh, go into the full ceremony. But what I would like to do first is I would just like to do a quick invocation. It's going to bring us together, bring our circle together. Um, and bring us all into our full presence. All right. It's not going to be super long. Um, so you can just, if you want to turn off your video, you're welcome to. And by the way, I am actually at Colleen's house. Uh, we had a couple of questions. This is a virtual background. <laughs> so for those of you that are wondering where I'm at. Okay. All right. Well, go ahead and close your eyes and place your hands in Gosho. Gasho is two hands coming together at your heart. It's the first pillar of Reiki. And if you're attuned to Reiki, activate Reiki in between your palm. If you're not attuned to Reiki, that's okay. Either way, you can feel the Reiki light surrounding you now. Flowing down through the top of your head through your crown, all the way through your entire body and out through the bottoms of your feet. Feel it flowing through your hand and in between your palms like a warm sun, a golden, beautiful, radiating light flowing within you, flowing through you. And feel the light of the earth flowing up through the bottoms of your feet. The light of Reiki, the grace and the frequency of gratitude is here and present today. And so is the light of the earth. The divine earth that she provides. And breathe, bringing your energy and attention and focus right here into the present moment. You might take this out into the world for others, but today is for you and about you. And just for today, repeat these to yourself. Just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will not worry. And take a deep breath and on each out breath, let go of any anger or worry. Send it into the light of Reiki. As Reiki lifts that from you and for you. Just for today, I will be kind and compassionate. Just for today, I will be devoted to my work and the higher frequencies of work and to your authentic self. Mm -hmm. 
Place your hands comfortably on your body now. Just for today, I will be grateful. Allow the frequency of gratitude to surround you, to flow through your hand and into your heart and into your body and your whole being. Breathe it in. And on the out breath, let go of what needs to be let go of today. Take a moment and allow Reiki to clarify and show you what that needs to be just in this moment, right here and right now. And when you're ready, breathe it out into the light of Reiki, into the light of pure love. As you are here in this space right now, surrounded by pure love, the safe space free of judgment, that is just right here, right now, for you, loving you. And so we say thank you for this day. We're so very grateful for this day, right here, right now for this hour, for this minute, for this second, for this present. And we say thank you to each other. The circle is divinely ordered and those that are joining us here today, those that are joining later, you say thank you for this community with beautiful souls, loving souls. We're so very grateful. We say thank you to the Reiki energy, the illumined ones, for your guidance and wisdom and healing and empowerment. And we say thank you to the teachers and the ancestors that have come before us for bringing us these ways Say thank you to the elder, the elders. Thank you. And we say thank you to the descendants that are coming after us and carrying these ways forward. And now place your hands on your heart space and say thank you to you. Just for today. I am grateful for me being here, showing up, adding gratitude and love and Reiki to the world. Thank you, and so it is. So when you're ready, you can come fully back in and open your eyes. All right. Well, normally we would like to spend a little more time in that energy, but um, we would also really like to get to the ceremony. So thank you all so much for being here. Um, what we will do is we just have a few announcements. Um, one of the things that we'd like to announce is that we do have a free webinar coming up on November 28th at 12 p.m. Pacific. You can go to reikilifestyle.com to uh, register for that. It's 
uh, reikilifestyle.com backslash healing path. If you just go to the homepage, you'll see the, the slider picture up at the top for that. Um, and that webinar is called, better make sure I get it right, Understanding Understand Your Healing Path. And we will be doing a journey to meet your spirit guides and gain confidence in your intuition and talking about those subjects. And then on the heels of that, we are actually opening up registration for our 2024 yearly classes that we meet once a month. That's uh, Next Step Reiki and Explore the 12 Heavens. Um, we're also releasing a podcast about that in a couple of weeks. So if you have any other questions around that, I don't want to go full on into it here. Um, uh, but if you have any questions about that, you can listen to that podcast or watch it um, or visit our website under our ongoing trainings tab. And then Colleen and I have classes in December, um, human Reiki 1 and 2, just regular Reiki 1 and 2, um, animal Reiki 1 and 2, and animal Reiki Master. Okie dokie. Um, so those are kind of our announcements. You know, as Colleen was saying, about the frequency of gratitude um, is that one of the things that came in in the invocation is, of course, Usui Sensei's five Reiki ideals or five Reiki precepts, which, um, you know, he said uh, to do morning and evening, um, which is a common tradition in many Eastern practices to use those as um, mantras. Uh, to use in your daily practices and that it is the uh, an invitation to happiness. Um, and so it is definitely one of those things that gratitude is continually shown throughout all of these practices as an answer to so many things. And I loved how Colleen talked about the duality when you know you're grateful, or some days it is like, okay, I'm grateful. I'm grateful today. I, I am. I swear I'm grateful. And then other days you're just in this expansive feeling of gratitude and how that gratitude helps us with so much in our lives and is a part of the answer for um uh, you know, for that contentment, for that fulfillment, for that joy as well. And um, one of the things that we talked about on our podcast recently with uh, Shelly Kammermeyer, um, a tip that I really appreciated from her, um, which I would like to share is that because one of the things that uh, I do not every day now that it's winter here, but in the summer and fall and spring is, um, you know, go outside first thing in the morning and do uh, the, the Reiki ideals and a small gratitude practice. And um, one of the tips that she gave was to um, do three, three things that you're grateful for, but they can't be the same. I mean, it's not to say they can't ever be the same, but on a continual basis, they can't be the same. And I actually really appreciated that because it can be small. It can be easy. We're going to go through a full gratitude ceremony uh, now, but we also can have gratitude practices that bring up that idea of gratitude, bring up that frequency of gratitude um, in all different kinds of ways. And um, many of us keep gratitude journals. Like I said, I do this gratitude practice in the mornings, but I liked that idea because it. I was always saying, well, of course, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for a new day. I'm grateful for uh, my work and some of those kind of more standard things that I know I'm grateful for. Um, and repeating those and then like, okay, well, what else am I grateful for? Coffee was also one of the ones that I was always grateful for. Um, anyway, uh, and by not by that little tip, it was such a neat way to explore gratitude to an even further um, depth because it did also release the pressure of like, okay, I know I'm grateful for all of those things. It's not like the day changes and I'm not grateful for all of those things, right? But I'm grateful for all of those things. But where can I find those small parts of 
of gratitude or the large parts of gratitude that might come through on that list when it changes um, uh, on a kind of a daily basis. And it's not to say that I don't repeat through some of those other ones, um, but I really, I really appreciated that little tidbit um, that was really helpful. And I know on here, we've also talked about glimmers, um, where glimmers are the opposite idea to triggers, right? It's about things that you notice in your life that create this moment of joy or this moment of awe or this moment of gratitude. Um, and so those are these other small places that we can find gratitude. And these spaces that we have for uh, ceremony, for ourselves, for this deep work that we're doing here today is so beautiful and so important. And at the same time, there's no amount of gratitude that's too small. There's no amount or moment of gratitude that we might practice, that we might share with ourselves or with others that is too small. So even if it's just a moment when you notice a glimmer, or maybe you write something in your gratitude journal or in your morning journal or do some sort of gratitude practice during the day, all of that matters. All of that's important. And it all of that contributes to gratitude within you, to that empowerment within you, that revealing within you, which then, um, you know, leads to more and more healing, more and more revealing of your authentic self, of your true self, and your path to wellness and path to joy. So um, as far as the uh, today is concerned, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the different ways that you can do this uh, gratitude for gratitude ceremony for yourself. Um, also how you can do it for your practice or for your uh, family. So one of the things that we talk a lot about um, in uh, our circles and our next step classes in our distance Reiki share is this idea that Reiki heals, it lets go, and it also reveals, it brings in or empowers. And that's a natural frequency of Reiki energy. It's also something that we really focus on. So I see quite a few next step people here. Um, it's also something that we really focus on in our work and next step. So you'll notice in this ceremony that we will be going to the garden of forgiveness. Here we are letting go. Um, and then we will also be bringing in that frequency of gratitude. So we're healing, we're letting go and we're revealing, we're bringing in, we're empowering, we're releasing the layers that um, that hide our wholeness or are remembering um, from ourselves. And so, I just wanted to mention that really quick um, that that is a piece, and to you know, be here in the moment. But if you happen to notice that part, you'll notice again that that is um, such a big piece of everything that you know we do with our work is that that healing aspect, and then also that bringing in aspect. So I want to show a couple of things where you can find some resources. Hold on a second. I know that's that little box is covering it. Go There we go. Okay, so I am on ReikiLifestyle.com. So where you can find... Um, this ceremony is you can actually find it here. So you go to Reiki Library. For those of you that are listening, uh, you go to ReikiLifestyle.com and you go to the Reiki Library. And if you look down, you can see that there's a little menu item that says Reiki Ceremonies. And if you click on that, um, that is going to give you a um, article that we wrote about officiating ceremonies with Reiki. Um, so that gives you a lot of kind of the um, technical parts of actually holding a ceremony, um, especially if you're going to do this for a group um, or somehow in your practice. We have the blessing ceremony, the burning bowl ceremony. And if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, we have the gratitude ceremony. And so you can go to that um, and you can see that uh, we have instructions, we have a supply list, um, 
everything that you need to hold this for yourself. Um, or I mean, sorry, in your practice. So this can be, as Colleen said earlier, one person just for yourself, or this can be for an entire group of people. Um, and kind of the full ceremonial pieces for this, um, because we also, as I said before, do adapt it for our family holidays. I will talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but this version of it um, is uh, very much about the um, full ceremonial parts of it. Also, having said that, there are some adaptations in here where there is a uh, shortened version of the Thanksgiving address that Colleen will talk about because it is pretty long. So there's a shortened version of that. Um, also that you, um, there's a, um, a bit more to a non-denominational wording in here. Um, so if you're, you know, feeling uncomfortable about saying some of the words, maybe it's too woo woo for your family, you can absolutely, uh, adapt it, um, in how you need to do that, or it's too woo woo for your group. You can adapt it, um, for how you need that to, um, be for your group. So that's the full ceremony instructions there. Um, and then the other thing, let me go ahead and stop the share here. We also have articles that we've written, um, or that Colleen's written about gratitude, uh, how this all came in. You can find that at ReikiLifestyle.com. In that Reiki library tab, you'll see Reiki articles. And you can go through there and um, look for articles uh, around this subject as well. Okay. And then the other place that I want to share, well, I want to show you. Because I know that this will be a lot, especially for the space that we've showed up here today. Um, you know, being prepared for ceremony, it can be a lot to kind of, you know, um, retain all of what I'm saying. So I just want to show you where you can find it all again. So you can also find this on our YouTube uh, channel. So our YouTube channel is just at Reiki Lifestyle. So if you're on our page, you can go to Gratitude Ceremony. You can search in the search bar, Gratitude Ceremony. And this is going to bring up some of the instructions. Um, that we have. So we have our um, gratitude ceremonies from years past in here. You'll be able to find this one as well um, uh, on Thursday. So we have ones from years past. But the other thing that we have on here is we have actually um, taken out how to adapt, how to adapt our gratitude ceremony for our thanks for your Thanksgiving. That is a about an eight minute video that you can watch. And then we also have how to make a gratitude ceremony plate in a minute or less. Um, so you can find that there. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and show that piece and then I'll go through just quickly how you can adapt it for your uh, Thanksgiving or other holiday for your family. A more, um, like if you're you're wanting to do something along these lines for a uh, less like spiritual group, how you can adapt it. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and open this. So um, this is how to create a gratitude ceremony. One second, let me close this. Let me get that, and then let me optimize. One second. So I'm going to go ahead and share the video, um, and then we can go through it a little bit. Uh, Colleen, does this look okay? I can't really see. Yes. Okay.
Okay. So essentially, I'm going to pause it and kind of scroll through. I should have pulled up these pictures, but I didn't think about it. So essentially, um, I don't know if I can, let's go full screen and let me unoptimize one second. So this might be a little clunky. Um, so essentially what you're doing to create your own uh, gratitude ceremony plate is you are starting with a, a plate. Now we happen to use one here that is kind of a more ceremonial plate, but we've also used just regular plates before and also charger plates work really well for this. Um, so you can find charger plates at a lot of different place, places. Um, and then we will use, uh, when we're at home, we will use uh, mold dirt. Um, this I think is actually potting soil. Um, you can see the little uh, rocks in there. Um, and the reason that mold dirt is used for this is because uh, mold dirt is considered sacred because it hasn't, it's, you know, fresh up from the earth. So if you have access to mold dirt, um, you know, that would be a, a really great way to do it. If you don't, um, you can use any kind of dirt. Uh, and in a lot of cases, we have to use potting soil. So um, there is uh, that step. Now here, what we're doing is we are adding crystals for the directions. So north, east, south, and west. You can also um, add ones in between if you want, and also uh, above, below, and within. Um, so if you wanted to do a crystal kind of pressed into the dirt here, you could. Um, so that is uh, an option for the crystals. Um, and then next, um, you're going to add your sacred um, herbs. Uh, this is for um, a, a gratitude for the earth for providing. So this can look as uh, sage. Um, tobacco is a, um, oh my goodness, my words are escaping me, is a sacred. Um, and then cornmeal is representative of feeding the people. We've, we have added lavender in the past, added rosemary. There's all different kinds of um, herbs and um, sacreds that you can add to your gratitude ceremony. Cedar is another one that I've, I've added. So it's really just listening to the Reiki energy, listening to the um, what your gratitude ceremony wants to be. Like we said, this is adaptable. So then um, the other thing that you will want to do is add a large candle in the center um, for, as the candle that every other candle is lit from. Um, so you will want it to be slightly bigger. We have a lot of candles on this um, here, but it doesn't have to be that much. You'll see on our candles today that even though there's a lot of us here, uh, we just kind of did a representation of everybody that's here in our group and added that um, energy into it, that intention into it. Now, if you're doing this for a family, uh, you know, like a family get together or something like that, where everybody's actually going to be in person, you know, if possible, you're going to want to have a candle for every single person uh, so that nobody's left out of actually uh, lighting their own candle for it. Okay. So then we have flowers are next. Um, now what you're doing here is you're just trimming the flowers and putting them into the dirt. Also, if your if your ceremony, like let's say you're getting the plate ready in the morning, um, and your ceremony is not going to be until the afternoon. You're going to want to add just a little bit of water to the dirt. This is super helpful. Maybe do that before the candles, um, just so it keeps the flowers watered for the day. Uh, again, we've done all sorts of types of flowers um, for for this ceremony. Um, you can even pick flowers from your garden if you have them. Um, so, however, that wants to look for you. Now, the other thing that we do is that we. Um, uh, add a piece grid underneath every single one of them. So these piece grids can be found at reiki.org. These are the piece grids that are part of William Rand's um, piece grid project, uh, where he has placed the piece grids in the North Pole, the South Pole, um, and all over the world. So uh, Michigan, Jerusalem, 
um, Japan on Mount Kurama and in the Reiki Center in Hawaii. So there's peace grids all over the world. And then we have the monthly meditation for the peace grids. If you've been in this circle before, you've done them with us. Um, and then, you know, we have peace grids in our house. Pauline will show a little bit more about that uh, later. Okay, so you're going to want to light the center candle. And then um, you're going to have everyone light a candle. So they'll take a match and light a candle from the center candle out to the tea light. Um, before they light the candle or during the light, they light the candle, they just think in their mind or they can whisper out loud or say out loud, depending on your circumstance, something that they are grateful for. Um, and so um, there's that piece. And then that's going to be kind of what it looks like when it's all lit up. Now, when you're creating this, um, you are doing this, um, you know, with Reiki activated, you are, uh, you know, will be anywhere from a full meditation or invocation to gosho meditation, uh, Reiki on. So that's how you create the full ceremony plate. Um, and how we adapt this for our Thanksgiving. Let me get that open. Oh, I have it open. Let me just find it. And again, I have a longer, uh, we have a longer excerpt on how to adapt it for your Thanksgiving on our YouTube channel. You can go and watch. So essentially we just do the same thing with, um, our Thanksgiving table setting. So you can see this is the table setting here. Um, and what we have is we just have candles, uh, in the middle that are pre-lit so that you can, um, uh, so they can take from their match from there. Um, and then these are all tea lights. This one was moved a little, so we don't have to worry about fire hazards. So that's one thing. Uh, so these are all tea lights and they are ready for the guests to, uh, take a flame from the center candle and, um, put it here. Uh, with this tea light. We have instructions um, on how to do that. And then plus the Thanksgiving address. Now you can have everybody do it at the same time. Or what we've done in the past is just as everybody sits down, take a moment, take a breath, be intentional about lighting the candle and what you're grateful for. Um, and then they can take the crystal home um, with them as well as the Thanksgiving address here on the paper. And you can see that we've adapted that Thanksgiving address. We're going to be doing the long form for it, uh, today, but you can see that we've adapted this, um, this Thanksgiving address to a lot shorter, um, version. And the other thing that we usually do, this isn't necessary, but one of the things that we usually do is whether we're doing adapting it for our Thanksgiving, or whether we are adapting it for our, uh, or whether we're doing it in our full ceremony is we usually have a little crystal for somebody, for people to take home. So we'll do for like, when we're doing it for a large group, we'll do the small tumbled stones um, because they're a little uh, more inexpensive as far as um, like, if you're doing it for a big group of people um, uh, and then for like a smaller group of people, we'll do a little bit of a bigger stone. Um, for them to take home as just the representation of their process in this ceremony. Um, so this is a way that we have adapted it to our Thanksgiving. Um, and then we also have done, you know, different table settings where we haven't actually done the Thanksgiving address on the table settings. Um, but we have done something like this where we've done gratitude here. Um, uh, and then we've actually gone through the Thanksgiving address as our kind of family, um, you know, prayer that we do before we eat. Um, so we've done all versions. The one thing to know is that all of this is very adaptable to how you need it to be. So if you, we, in our family, we have anywhere from very kind of atheist all the way to like pretty Christian um, and so we just make the words, everybody has things to be grateful for. Everybody, you know, has gratitude for the earth. And so we make the words pretty non-denominational non and at the same time still having our hearts in it so that we show up authentically as well. So it's this combination um, for all of it. 
So that's how we adapt it to our, our family. And then I think, um, that is kind of my part. Oh, one thing I do also want to, um, mention is that the music today is by Karen Drucker. We will have her, um, information in the description. Um, if you do want to find it, she has given us in, uh, permission to use it and gives people permission to use it as long as you credit her. Um, so we just want to make sure that we not just credit her, but express our gratitude for Karen and her um, amazing and intentional music and that she is so generous with it um, and allows us to use it for the ceremonies and allows other people to use it for the things that they need as well. Um, so thank you to Karen and we will for sure put her information in the description. I do think she asks us to specifically ask if you are going to use her music. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she did say that I, th I think she would always say yes, but I do think that it's, it's um, what she asked us was to just be sure we ask. Okay. Thanks for that clarification. Yeah. 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 Awesome. So, and that is Karen Drucker. And her music is great and lots of great words for a lot of different needs and prayers and <laughs> things that are helpful to listen to. So, um, yeah, she has a great YouTube channel. So we'll put that information in too. Well, I think we're really ready to get started with the ceremony. Thank you, Robin. That was great. And um I'll just talk a little bit about the energy first, and then we'll go right into it. So uh, the Thanksgiving address is actually the prayer that I use is a prayer that is written by Hadnashani, or you may be more familiar with Iroquois, Elder Chief Jake Swamp. The Iroquois people promote peace and gratitude through their prayers and their ceremonies. They even have uh, gratitude ceremonies that are, are four days long, and the entire ceremony is about gratitude. Jake Swamp traveled the world and planted trees of peace, and he actually wrote this Thanksgiving address to specifically as what is known as a giveaway. So in Native traditions, Indigenous, uh, Native American, if, if you're here in the Indigenous people, and if you are going to work with their ceremonies, it's very important that you are honoring their ceremony their way and how they ask you to honor it and exactly the way they ask you to honor it. When a prayer such as this is given as a giveaway, it is Jake Swamps, or was, he's passed away now, it was his intention that it be used by the people and shared and spread. So I do want to talk just a little bit about him. I have, um, I'm going to screen share because we just really honor him and the traditions that he presents. And so this is a photo of him. He passed away maybe five years ago. And you can find this book is the prayer that he wrote on Amazon. And you can also look up Jake Swamp um, on YouTube and on the internet and find out more information about his peace project uh, that he shared with the world. So the Thanksgiving address, and that is um, written out on our website in the um, ceremony that Robin showed you. It's actually uh, written out with the credit to him, and then also in a long version and a short version. So some of it in his exact words, many of you that have been doing this work with us for years, you will recognize it because this is the prayer of thanksgiving for everything starting with the earth and moving to the waters, 
and the life in the waters and the plant nations, the animals, the trees. So you'll recognize I will and we will do this in long versions and short versions pretty often, actually. It's a part of my daily awareness and have really brought this prayer into my knowing in the uh it's actually called the words that go before all else and so traditionally uh the Haudenosaunee people teach their children to start their day and start everything with thanksgiving so that's what this prayer is and i want to make sure that we you know really honor him because of the gift and giving it to us as a giveaway. So the energy of the ceremony, and I just closed everything on my screen all of a sudden, um, the energy of the ceremony is using Reiki energy to fill us up with the energy of gratitude, to really empower it within, and even if you're struggling to feel it, because they're two, they're, they're hopefully the same thing. We love it when we're in the feeling of gratitude and that wonderful feeling of it, as well as the state of being of it. But also just for those of you that it may be struggling in this area, just know that it can be a state of being within that you know about yourself, even if you have a different feeling about it. So Reiki energy helps us receive it. One of the things as Robin started to talk is that they're part of this ceremony is a Reiki journey. So we will be going to the river of life and the river of peace to let go of those things that are in your way. We will be going to what is called the garden of forgiveness and you'll be met there by uh, the Divine Mother, and whoever that is for you, and taken into the Garden of Forgiveness, where the energy and the power of love will shine on you to release from you those places where gratitude is difficult, where you may be blocked with it or challenged by it, and also understanding the nature of the energy of forgiveness with Reiki energy is that it doesn't mean you have to accept things that have been done or harmed you or that are difficult for you. It just means that you let it go into the power of love where it can be healed because it doesn't have any have the right to have any power over you. It is your divine right to be sovereign and to be in your wholeness and to be in that inner awareness of who you are. And so these things that are released from you are, are released in a way, and the way that Reiki energy does the healing is it heals what you let go of. It removes the burdens that you carry. So after we go from the Garden of Forgiveness, you will be guided to the field of possibilities to receive the gratitude and possibilities and new, new inspiration, maybe insight, however that shows up for you and also what you are grateful for. It will empower you to move into that self-awareness of gratitude. And it's okay if, if you have from one thing to a hundred things, and it's also okay if you're not thinking them literally, you can just let yourself know and intend that those are there. Then what will happen during this is that Robin and I are going to light the candles of gratitude on the gratitude table for you. And we are going to be doing that while you are in that place of your own gratitude and your own thanksgiving. 
when we come back out of it, we are uh, going to join as a community to send the power of our prayers to the peace grids that William Rand placed around the world. They are in the North Pole, South Pole. One is in Michigan, one is in Hawaii, one is in Jerusalem, and one is in Japan. So we're going to send the power of the ceremony and the power of the gratitude out into the world. And then we'll complete the ceremony and we'll let you know that we are complete and bring these gifts back really for you. Because as we share it, it all comes back around and it all comes back for you. So that's the nature of the ceremony. There will be times that I'm going to be playing music. And during that time, I won't be talking. It's during that time, it'll be your time to be in your inner experience. Okay, so is there, um, Robin, can you think of anything that I did not bring up? No, I think if you have a journal nearby, there can you can feel comfortable writing anything down that you want to write, any time for automatic writing during the music or in the silence. But mostly I just wanted to say that you're you're guiding the whole thing. So if you couldn't keep track of all of that, Colleen. Oh, guides, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all it's all good. You can just be and Colleen will take us through all of it. Okay. And for me, even though, you know, I've done this for so many years, it's still um, channeled. So it doesn't always come through the same exact way every year. Betty, if you just want to go ahead and, and get it comfortable, comes. you can turn your videos off. We'll give everybody just a moment. I know so many people like to go and, and lay down if um, uh, you're wanting to do that we did check the music before this but there might be a moment where i you know unmute and ask colleen to adjust her volume um so there's that possibility but otherwise you'll just be guided just relax and um, be in your own process through this all okay here we go close your eyes and take some deep breaths And place your hands comfortably on your body. Open your heart and receive. As you breathe in, you breathe in the light and the power of love. By every name it's called. power of love within you travels in on your breath and is revealed at the core of your being. Breathe deeply now and receive as the light and the power of the divine mind travels in on your breath and awakens the divine mind within you. as you breathe in, you breathe in the light and the power of the divine heart. The divine heart reveals your divine heart, shining through your heart light, in front of you, behind you, on each side. Your heart light shines above you and below you and within you and is revealed to you now, your divine spirit, right here in your human spirit. As the light of the earth rises through you and the light of the heavens shines through you and meets right here in your heart. Your divine mind remembers the power of love that you are. 
and your spirit ignites and is revealed to you in this breath at this moment right now. Divine compassion fills your breath. Zonar, Halu, Hart, Rama, Nosa, Yava, Shanti, Kriya. Awakening the power and the light of compassion, the power of love. And it's awakened right here within you and all around you, in front of you and behind you and on each side, above you and below you, filling the space that you're in with the vitality and vibrancy of Reiki, filling your breath awakening your vitality, your vibrancy, your higher thought, your higher consciousness, opening the field of possibilities. Breathe deeply now and receive. Like the tree of life, you are made of the earth. Your roots grow deeply into the earth, nourished by the earth, receiving of the earth, part of the earth. And when you listen, you can hear the heartbeat of the earth. It beats in the same rhythm as your own heart. And like the branches of the tree, you receive the four winds flowing through you and the ancient wisdom of the elders who came before. The ancient trees and rocks and the waters and the earth ancient people and their wisdom and knowledge and the four winds circle around the earth and welcoming the descendants breathe deeply now and receive as your branches reach to the heavens and receive from the infinite realms by all the names it's called. The great being of the universe by the names you call. Receiving the infinite wisdom and grace. Love. Consciousness and heart. Imagine now a beautiful bridge of light. And on this bridge of light, our enlightened ones, the beautiful beings of the light, the divine animal kingdom and the angels and the archangels. The ascended masters and those we call our brothers and sisters in the light and the sacred and beloved ones that you are in relationship with your spiritual guides and teachers and here on the bridge of light you are being invited to cross into the divine realms where all there is is love the place we call the third heaven. And so you step onto the bridge of light and the brilliant colors of the earth 
and the brilliant colors of creation flow into your body. And when you listen, you can hear the heartbeat of creation, the heartbeat of the universe, and the heartbeat of the earth all beating in the same rhythm as your own heart. You step onto the bridge in the color of red. Continue walking through the orange, filling each chakra with your colors and your vibrancy, vitality. And now walking through the yellow. looking over the side of the bridge and you can see the river of life flowing underneath the bridge flowing down from sacred mountains in the distance and the light from the highest heavens is shining on the waters sparkling light and prisms of color and rainbow light fill the air flowing into you with every breath awakening the sparkling light within you, your effervescence and essence and colors and brilliance and lightness of heart. And you walk through the green, continuing over the bridge through the color of blue. And indigo, and walking through the shades of violet, arriving at the other side of the bridge in the most extraordinary place. All there is is love here. And the light from the highest heaven shines on everything, filling everything with amazing grace. That place within you where all there is is love is right here and present. You can see there's a pathway leading along the riverbanks. You decide to follow that path. And here you can see in the river of life that everything drinks of the waters. These are the primordial waters of creation. The divine animal kingdom is here and they're drinking of the waters. The roots of the trees and the plants, the water dwellers, all here with the river. And you find a place to walk to the river's edge. And you can hear the song of the river. And it's in harmony with your song. And elevating your song to the sounds of life, and love. And hear the songs of nature. And it all fills your breath. The heartbeat of the earth rises underneath you. And you cup your hands in the crystal clear, pure waters of the river. And you take a long drink. The waters are pure. And they fill the living waters within you. And the river is the river of peace and the living waters fill you with life. And your waters and the purity within you of peace.
And you feel guided now to continue along the pathway following the river. You can smell the sweet fragrance of the flowers, hear the songs of the birds, the song of the angels and the heart song of the trees, all awakening your song. After a while, you see up ahead of you is a beautiful being of the light. It's the Divine Mother. And she greets you here on this path, on your path. And she knows there are ways and worries of the world that have created weariness within you. And so she invites you to step into her garden with her and you walk through the white picket fence into the most beautiful garden. The sweet fragrance of the roses and the light of grace is shining on everything. So beautiful here. And there are other beautiful beings of the light that are here in the garden and they all invite you to lie down on a bed of rose petals where they are going to care for you and bring the gifts of healing from the divine realms for you. And so you lie down on this bed of rose petals. And these beautiful beings of the light surround you now. And a brilliant light shining down from the highest heavens surrounds you and the beings of the light divine animal kingdom is here and everything is in harmony and you open your heart to receive the blessings and to let go of those burdens that you have been carrying allowing this light through the power of love compassion and the grace of forgiveness carry these ways and worries away of the world from you for you and you begin to just simply let go The light from the highest heavens is shining on you, dissolving cords, connectors, attachments for you from you through the light of grace where they can be healed and you receive.
lift your sails in faith and trust that you will arrive. Let go. you open your heart and receive this light of grace. And the blessings from these beautiful beings of the light that are here, this grace of compassion, the power of love. And you decide to rise now from the bed of rose petal Divine Mother is here and she hands you a goblet of the living waters and from the river of peace. And you take a long drink and peace fills your body flowing through you. And all of the spaces in between the spaces and the Divine Mother and the beautiful beings now guide you through the garden again and they go with you and take a pathway now that leads to the field of possibilities. And here in the field of possibilities are your gifts, your talents, your inner knowing and wisdom. your inspiration, curiosity, your insight, your inner truth. And here in this place, in the field of possibilities, you can see the beautiful soft grass and wildflowers, the light from the heavens shining on you and on everything. And the gift of beauty is so powerful here. The enlightened ones are here and the divine animal kingdom is here and they're sharing their blessings with you 
and you are here to receive them. And the light of gratitude fills your breath and your heart flowing through you, filling you. And you take this time now as you find a spot here in the field of possibilities to just sit and receive. Receive the gifts of gratitude. All that you are thankful for. Take this time to think about all the things that you are grateful for and all the possibilities of beauty and love and light right here for you. We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy. We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy, Spirit divine, come to me, feeling love. Now we light the candles for you.
Come to 
bring the power of our prayer and the power of our community and the power of this ceremony with love and gratitude and thanksgiving contributing to wellness in the world contributing to peace and love for the people, the animals, and the earth, and everything that is here. And so we take the power of this prayer and we send it to the peace grids around the world, all of the personal peace grids and all of the prayers for peace, and we send it to the peace grids that the followers of the world's religions and spiritual paths work together to create peace among all people on earth. And we send gratitude around the world along with our love into the peace grids at the North Pole, the South Pole, Jerusalem, Michigan, Hawaii, Mount Karama, Japan. And we send our love around the world and over the ocean. I send my over the mountains I send my love over the sea I send my love into the heavens and it returns to me I send my I 
send my power, I send my power over the mountains. I send my power, I send my power over the sea. I send my power, I send my power into the heavens, and it returns to me. I send peace. Over the mountains, I send peace. Over the sea, I send peace into the heavens, and it returns to me. I send my power. Send my power over the mountains. Send my power, send my power over the sea. Now, bring your awareness to yourself and this light of gratitude that you receive. And take this time to love you and to receive gratitude for you from you. How deeply you love, how deeply you care. And what a blessing that you are in your life and in the lives of those around you and here on the earth. So take this time to say thank you to you. And we say thank you to each other. Circles always divinely ordered all who are here live and those who listen later. We are so grateful to have each other and to be in community, caring and contributing love into the world. And so we receive this gratitude and thanksgiving. And we take this time now to send thank you to our mother, the earth. She provides all the gifts for us, everything that we need. And we take this time together to say thank you to the waters of the earth and all the life in the water. For water is life, and all the life in the waters to the mysteries of the great seas and the giants of the sea, to the life in the puddles and the raindrops. Together we say thank you to the waters. And we say thank you now to the plant nations, the 
food plants and the medicine plants and all the people who know how to use them. All the way around the world, the plants provide life and beauty and breath. And we say thank you together to the animals of the world, those companions in our homes. We say thank you, the gifts you bring to us, and the wild animals. The animals bring such glory to the earth and love in our hearts. Thank you. And together we say thank you to the trees, the standing ones. You bring us shade and food and fruits and nuts and all kinds of gifts and homes. Thank you to the trees and the tree of life, and the mother tree, to the possibilities of the beauty in trees and the songs and the birds. Together we say thank you. The smallest bird sings the greatest song. The eagles in the sky bringing us fancy of flight and dreams and vision. And together we lift our minds higher and say thank you to the thunderers bringing the power to the earth and the rain to the earth sometimes crashing in the sky in great sounds of voices. And we lift our minds higher now to our grandmother, the moon. And we say thank you to our grandmother, the moon, and the way that you shine in the night sky, and the beauty of your face, sometimes in its fullness and sometimes just slightly showing the mysteries of the moon, lighting the night sky. And together we say thank you to our brother, the moon, our brother, the sun, shining in the fullness of your light because your light gives us life. And the earth receives the light of the sun and creates life. And a beautiful and equal exchange of giving and receiving, creating. And together we say thank you to the star nations. Those heavenly bodies of light, mystery and expansive awareness here in this solar system and with these planets in this galaxy, the Milky Way and the universe itself, thank you. And together we say thank you to the enlightened ones that encircle this earth and our world and live here with us, guiding us, creating with us, friends with us. And now together we say thank you to the great being of the universe. And we invite you to shine on us and be our friend. And we open our hearts and we receive this powerful love that you are. Thank you. Thank you to the gifts that you are, the gifts we are and the gifts we receive, and the gifts of this earth and of this life. They are truly grateful. And now take a moment to be in the love for yourself.
How could anyone fail to notice that your loving is a miracle? How deeply you're connected to my soul? How could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful? How could anyone ever tell you you were less? That your loving is a miracle. How deeply you're connected to my soul. How could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful? How could anyone ever tell you you were less? That your loving is a miracle How deeply you're connected to my soul How could, how could anyone ever tell you You were anything less you than were anything less than How could beautiful. anyone ever tell you That you were less than Deeply you're connected to my soul, to my soul. How could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful? How could anyone ever tell you you were less than whole? How could anyone fail to notice that your loving And take this time to be grateful for you, for all of us that are here together. As we send peace around the world, thanksgiving and gratitude within our own hearts. So take this time now, and when you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back into the room completely. Thank you, everyone. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for just joining us today and later. We're so very, very grateful for you all. I see all of your chats. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. So very beautiful.